Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a uh, general reading for Scorpio star signs and it is not your personal reading Therefore, in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also as the Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deal going on that regards to the uh, 20 and the 30 minutes um, live readings. And basically their prices are abated from the original. So you can save some money purchasing them. Anyway, so going to the uh, tarot spread first. Well, Scorpio, what we do have here, it's uh, I kind of can feel it. Uh, it's a week, or well, how to describe it really, it's a week where you can be very productive but in the same time quite lazy is not exactly the word but let's say discontent to do it so. And we are to see why into uh, in a minute. So let's dive deeper card by card. So first of all, we do have the Queen of Wands sitting on the prime position, which is the topic of your Scorpio weeks. And the Queen of Wands is one of the best business cards in, uh, in the tarot deck. Basically, this card points that you are to have a cute business sense um, throughout this week, not to mention that you are to attract a lot of people as well, so maybe I should consider making a lot of live streams throughout this week, for example, just giving myself for example, but also you are to know uh, what the people will need, very productive when it comes to a private businesses, alright, so when, when you do have that um, Mm, audition with a new customer you will know what the customer wants to hear and what the customer the customer need as a service and therefore even if you don't have it right now with the Queen of Wands energies you can definitely align yourself with it so you can fulfill the purchase order for example the Queen of the Queen of Wands goes even beyond that it says that this week you can uh, kind of experience a lot of exhilaration socializing with people with friends with with unknown as well individuals just to make up friends and to go out having parties and uh, attending to pubs for example because the Queen of Wands also stands for having that knack of having fun uh, of, of enjoying life as well the Queen of Wands is like it's like that fire in in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the cold night into the desert where everybody is attracted to it either business wise or relationship wise it basically you are to make an impression with your presence so it is advisable for you to uh, capitalize on it fully not to mention that the Queen of Wands is also a very good leader but how the Queen of of wants uh, kind of mesmerize and mesmerize is not the exact term but enthrall people with her leadership uh, skills in in this uh, in this uh, particular situation how you are to enthrall people with your leadership skills is by showing willingness to sacrifice let's say yourself or something from yourself for the greater good of the undertaking this is how people are to recognize you as a, a good leader. But uh, all in all, this is about the Queen of Wands here. A, a very, very productive week, especially business-wise. And uh, in case it's about relationships and you are single, this is also a very positive card that you are to enthrall somebody, to really make an impression, to um, ignite that uh, urge of this person being around you. Now, um, this is a, a funny thing I have watched yesterday, I think, you know, it was a, a, document, a documentary about love and facts about love. And it 
basically love and attraction are two different things when you are attracted to someone your left side of the brain is activated when you love someone your right side of the brain is activated therefore they are two different things and i hope that you can differentiate, dif uh, differentiate them uh, quite accurately but why this is happening it comes to question and we do have the seven of cups and the seven of cups in this specific follow-up it points to the uh, opening of one's dream it is kind of like at uh, this time uh, until this moment until this week um, a dream of yours was just a dream you know and you, you just a single thought was not enough to take you there but now you do have the opening now you do you do see that that is a, a seed that it is yet to grow but you also have to help it and this help comes with with that um, exertion of presence of leadership skills of acute sense of the human nature as well you know and in generally with your presence of attract of attraction attracting people attracting um, circumstances as well etc etc basically the last thing you do want throughout this week Scorpio is slacking and this is where we come to the next card which is the challenges that are causing predicaments for you the temperance card and this points that the challenge for you is to be to take on the chores that are accompanying your uh, your enterprise your dream because every dream comes with a chores not everything that we are to do along the way to reach the uh, very peak the very uh, <clears throat> the very crest of the summit it will be pleasant there are there are chores involved and uh, you know you are to find it very very annoying to deal with those kind of chores and to basically you know it's you are to find it a waste of time and um, you are to try to kind of like cut, cut corners and the challenge for you to, is to be to realize that there is no cutting corners you gotta do it one way or another uh, it's uh, you need to place yourself into that extreme environment for you that is to basically um, overcome the um, the aggravation and the annoyment that one chore accompany um, <clears throat> accompanies one uh, undertaking and with the temperance card sitting into that position it will be very difficult for you to find that middle ground uh, where you you know you sit in between the pleasant uh, the pleasant undertakings and the chores which are accompanying your your dream in basically giving a, a balanced treatment into either of those and I just want to give you again an example with myself uh, in my star chart I'm no astrologer but you know I'm in such a community so I have a lot of friends astrologers and uh, basically they are saying to me you know that it's it's not in my chart to be an ex uh, a, um, to, to put myself in an exposure of uh, well let's say social media right and uh, you don't know how much effort is for me to basically uh, shot those videos for example that is a chore for me to a certain extent but those videos is how you get popular to a certain extent so basically I have to do it if I don't want my channel to die and uh, this here is a confirmation that that is only going to improve throughout this week at least and I need to find a middle ground here among the, um, the things I like to do which are exhilarating me and the things that are um, not exactly annoying me but it's kind of like uh, you know coming a little bit heavy on me for that matter that is just an example with me and uh, the last card that we do have for you Scorpio this is going to be the nine of wands and the nine of wands is the guidance that Tarot is offering and in this specific case the nine of wands points that you can rearrange certain certain things into your environment so to make those chores a little bit less heavier upon your um, <clears throat> you know upon your take on 
um, on them. And uh, these uh, changes could be changes in your schedule, sleeping schedule for that matter, changes in your uh, home as well, like rearranging it or <clears throat> simply changing into a, a plan with your co-workers as well it's it's kind of like these conscious changes into one environment that one has full control upon um, for example i will give example with myself you know i am uh, because most of you guys in united are in the united states and i'm in europe uh, i tend to stay awake for a the small hours like 3 a.m 4 a.m and then i'm sleeping to same time but p.m. on the next day well maybe I can uh, you know <clears throat> make this uh, make this time frame more productive like you know sleeping to 11 a.m. or maybe noon and then wake up shoot shoot my videos the, the videos that I have scheduled and move along with my uh, and go along with the rest of my day that is just example with me but definitely there could be some rearrangements here with the nine of wands as a matter of fact you need to seek and make those rearrangements into your daily routine which are to make the chores you have to attend so you can make your dream uh, you know coming true in the near future uh, <clears throat> And uh, those changes needs to be uh, that, that again you are you can make needs to be exerted this specific week in your life. That could be as well now that comes to my mind. That could be as well the change of the dating schedule if you do have a boyfriend or a girlfriend here, uh, as that could consume a lot of your time. And now it's time for you to work to make money and etc. etc. So uh, that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say about uh, a, a event that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. One second to shuffle them really, really well. So let's see what we got. So the first card that is to be the snake. Now the snake stands for betrayal, it stands for enemy, but also stands for clever, like, uh, yeah, well, clever cunning uh, and wisdom as well. Now the next one that is to be the ring. Now the ring stands for um, commitment and stands for um, cooperation. Also it could be marriage and it could be as well engagement. And then the last one, this is to be the book. The book stands for information, for secret, and for knowledge. So, um, what I can come up with these cards is this is a, a very clever uh, alliance that you are to do. An alliance that it is most likely going to be kept into a, a secretive way. Or alliance that is to put a, a lot of uh, light upon your situation and is going to teach you, you know, how to cope with the... Uh, with the chores that you need to uh, that you need to cope with, so you can make your dream coming true here in a, a very very clever way. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, Again, this was just a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, here I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.